All right, today I'm doing the ultimate fishing challenge. I'm putting chicken liver up against skipjack herring. This is basically using a store-bought bait versus a bait found in the water. Now my skipjack is frozen. I was unable to get fresh skipjack today, so I froze the liver as well. That way the liver will stay on my hook better. Now skipjacks are used to catch trophy catfish, which I'm not trying to catch today. I'm trying to catch small catfish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the head off, or cut the gut pocket out, and cut out the gut pocket or the stomach part in small squares. Channel catfish absolutely love that. Channel catfish absolutely love liver as well, especially the small ones, the eater size fish. Now the rest of the fish, I'm gonna save for another video, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. I might catch a monster in my next video. Now I'm gonna get these on my rods and see what I catch. I have a real good feeling about today, so the first bait that catches five catfish wins. See, cut the head off. Then I remove the gut pocket. I take the contents of the gut pocket and I just throw it away. I just use the skin. This one piece of skipjack right here could catch 20 or 30 catfish. And there's a small piece of skipjack for channel cats. Both of these rods have one knot team catfish double action circle hooks with a one ounce no roll sinker and a swivel between the hook and the sinker. Real easy bait to use. I keep it locked down so the fish hooks itself. Now for the harder bait. Liver is definitely the more difficult bait to use because if this was not frozen, I could easily sling it off my hook. Put it on the hook and be gentle with my cast. Now it's a waiting game. All right, this challenge has been a little bit more difficult than what I thought it would be. So I have moved to a different spot. I've caught plenty of channel catfish here, so hopefully I'll be able to catch something. I know we've had a major weather change. It's really cold right now. That may have turned off all the fish. You would think it wouldn't turn off channel catfish, but I haven't caught one yet. So I'm going to get the bait on my rods and give this spot a try. All right, piece of skipjack first. And a piece of chicken liver. All right, let's see if I catch something here.
fish on the liver. It's fighting pretty good too. Man, been waiting a while for this fish. <laughs> well, success. Finally caught a fish. Channel catfish. Got a nice channel catfish. This fish is what I was expecting to bite liver or small pieces of skipjack. And that's kind of cool that at this point in the night, on a really slow day and night, the first fish comes on chicken liver. And this guy is a smelly, smelly channel catfish. He stinks pretty bad. I'm going to throw this guy back in the water. Maybe this guy will grow bigger than that 20 pounder I caught in this same body of water. Skipjack, you have failed me tonight. All right, another piece of chicken lover. Now I moved from the main part of the lake to this area because this is a creek that runs into the lake. This water should be just a little bit warmer than the lake water. I was hoping there'd be more fish back here. And hopefully I didn't cast that liver off. My liver is starting to thaw now. Skipjack. If I get this guy in, that's one fish on skipjack and one fish on liver. He's trying to cross my other line. I hope he's not snagged out there. Yep, he's over my other line. We're not tangled though.
All right. The Team Catfish Double Action Circle hooks keep getting them right in the corner of the mouth, even though they're tiny hooks. This channel catfish ate a tiny, tiny piece of skipjack herring. And here tonight I thought I wasn't going to catch any fish. Two eater-sized channel catfish. Although I don't know if I would actually eat these guys. They don't smell good at all. Stinky channel catfish. Time to release this guy. All right, buddy, get bigger. There we go, another small piece of skipjack. One good thing about these skipjack parts is you can definitely cast it a lot further than you can cast the liver. I have a feeling I'm not going to catch five fish on these tonight, so there's not going to be a clear winner, although it's currently tied. Let's see if a tiebreaker happens before I leave. Well, it's been about an hour and no bites. Now, while I was waiting on nothing to happen here, I went on Facebook and other social medias to see how other people are doing, and man, it's a bad day. This one guy said the cows were laying down and there were no bats out, which I saw earlier cows laying down, which is usually a bad sign for fishing. With it being cold weather, I don't expect bats to be out anyway. Even a couple of guides I know got skunked today, so catching two fish is a miracle, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Make this three fish, two on skipjack. I was about to leave. And once again, he's wanting to go down river over my other line. Well, I can say at least I'm catching fish today. I'm feeling a lot of stuff in the water. I'm thinking people have thrown brush out there trying to attract crappie. Ooh. This might be the biggest channel cat of the night. I'm going to need a fish grips for him. <laughs> he bit down on my finger pretty good. Now this is a nice size channel cat. Really nice one. Biggest channel cat tonight is on Skipjack. And Skipjack has two fish on the board. 8.9 pounds. Not bad. 
All right, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. This is a really, really, really nice channel cat. Adios, guy. Thank you for biting my finger. You can see I can't, I definitely can't grab him. This is going to be a difficult release. On that note, I'm going to call it. It's getting colder out and it's supposed to get below freezing tonight. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate it. Now I think it's time for me to get my boat out and start chasing some big blues.